Hey, what's up LinkedIn? Jesse Richards here, Ken Scott Real Estate. Just want to give you an update and some tips on some on closing costs, um, some hacks I know, and just kind of define to you what closing costs are. Um, all buyers and sellers have closing costs. They're escrow fees. Escrow is a third-party company that's non-biased, that kind of rewrites the contract between the buyer and the seller and just kind of, kind of brokers the deal with the money. Um, they have a fee. And it's usually a percentage of, of the transaction. It's usually about a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks. There's the title insurance fees, another thousand dollars or so, depending on the, the price of the property. Title insurance just um, ensures that, that the title on the property is free and clear, that Bob says who Bob is and the seller, and Joe, the buyer, says who Joe is, and just kind of verifies everybody everybody is who they say they are, insures it. There's lender fees. For the loan, there's property taxes that have to get paid. There's loan doc prep. You know, it, it can be a couple grand. It can be five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars, depending on the purchase the purchase price of the property. But uh, one strategy I like to use for my buyers is we go in with the offer and we ask the seller to pay for some of the buyer's costs. It's a great way to do it. Um, if the buyer's asking, if the seller's asking three hundred grand for their property, and you need five thousand in closing costs as the buyer. Offer them 305 with 5,000 to close. The seller's happy, they get their 300, the buyer gets their 5,000 to pay their costs. It's a win win. Another strategy you can do is you can finance the closing costs as a buyer for a slightly higher interest rate. Or as a buyer, just stop buying stupid crap and save your money and pay for your own closing costs. So there's multiple ways to do it. Hope this was helpful. If you like it, share it. Feel free to respond. Thanks.